Well, hello everyone. Welcome to Winning Women Wednesday with Lady Renee of Transformation Community Church. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and I pray that all is well with each and every one of you. Well, today I just stopped by just to share a few passages of scripture to let us know or remind us who God is. Amen. Who is God? What a question, right? Um, and to answer that question is that we need to start by looking into God's word. Amen. What does the word of God say about who he is? Right. So first John four and eight says he who does not love does not know God for God is love. First Corinthians 10 and 13 says no temptation has overtaken you except such as is common to man. But God is faithful. First John one and five. This is the message which we have heard from him and declared to you that God is light, right? And there is no darkness in him. Amen. Um, numbers 12, I'm sorry, Numbers 23 and 19, excuse me, Numbers 23 and 19. God is not a man that he should lie, nor a son of man that he should repent or change his mind. Does he speak and not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Amen. Psalms 116 and 5 says the Lord is gracious and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. Amen. Thank God for that. Psalms 84 and 11 says for the Lord is a sun and shield. The Lord will give grace and favor. Amen. No good things does he withhold from those who walk blameless. Right. So. From these few passages of scripture, we learn that God is love, God is faithful, God is light, and there is no darkness in him. Amen. God is not a man that he should lie. God is the sun and shield, and God is merciful. Amen. We serve a living God, right? An awesome and all-powerful God, right? God reveals himself in his word. Amen. And we come to know him by first accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. Amen. Because the Bible tells us that um, Jesus is the way, he is the truth, and the life. And we cannot get to the Father except through him. Amen. And we also come to know who God is um, by reading his word, by spending time with him, by communing with him. Amen. The Bible speaks about God in the present. He's not a past tense God, right? He's not a once was God, right? He is God is. Amen. He is a present God. Amen. Amen. And so God is full of compassion, right? God is light. God is love. God is merciful. Amen. God is strong. God is powerful. God is almighty. Amen. And so we, um, and God is love above all things. God is love. Amen. So much so that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, um, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen. And so repeatedly, the Bible tells us about who God is. Amen. And we should be strengthened. We should be encouraged by the fact that God is a living God. He is the one and only true living God. Right. And that is something to be grateful for. Right. He is the great I am. He is God almighty. Right. So we must respect God's word. We must reference him for his glorious and mighty works. Amen. And we must adore him, right, for being so powerful. But yet he is so tender, so merciful and so caring towards us. Amen. So listen till next time. Know that I love you, but God loves you so much more. Be intentional. Love on purpose. Blessings. Mm -hmm.